Hi class, in this lecture here what I want to do is I want to include uh, just a couple more additional examples from section 1.1 and also show you how to tackle some of the problems that you'll see in um, my math lab, okay? So here we go. Suppose you have this graph here, okay? It looks like a parabola and then at the uh, vertex of the parabola there's a little hole in it, okay? So the graph is undefined there, okay? So here's the first problem. Okay, let's find Let's just say what the function is at when x is equal to 3. Well, look, when x is equal to 3, there's a hole in the graph. Okay, so the function is undefined there. Okay, or does not exist there. Okay, let's find the limit. Okay, as x goes to 3 from below of the function f of x. Okay, so you're going to look as x goes to 3 from below. Okay. Well, it looks like as you get closer and closer and closer to 3, the graph gets closer and closer and closer to negative 2. So look, if you have the limit as x goes to 3 from above of f of x, it's the same thing. As you go look at the graph as x gets closer and closer to 3 from above, well, where does the graph look like the y value is going to? It looks like it's going to negative 2. So what does the limit then just as x goes to 3 of our function f of x here, okay? Well, it looks like the one-sided limits both agree, and it's just going to negative 2. So this is how you just look at it graphically to solve. All right, let's look at this one here, okay? So just this weird-looking graph like this, okay? So let's look at the first one here, All right? So this we'll just call this function f of x. All right, what is the limit as x goes to, here's negative 5, of f of x? All right, well, look, you got to look at the two one-sided limits, okay? So let's look at below first. So the limit as x goes to negative 5 from below of f of x. Well, look, as you go from below, okay, as you get closer and closer and closer to negative 5, where does it look like the graph is going? It looks like it's going to the y value of 6. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It looks like the y value is 6. And then if you look at the limit as x goes to negative 5 from above, okay, so this way, where does it look like the graph is going? Right? It looks like the y value is going towards 4. So the one sided limits do not agree, okay? So here the limit does not exist. Okay. Well, look, how about this one then? The limit as x goes to 4 of f of x. So you're going to look as x goes to 4. Notice how the graph does not exist when x is equal to 4. But look, as you go from below and as you go from above, looks like it's going to 4. Okay, so here's a case where the one-sided limits uh, do not agree and the limit does not exist on the same graph. And here's a case where the one-sided limits do agree, okay, and the limit exists. All right, let's just do one more quick one. All right, so consider this graph here, okay? And we'll call this f of x. All right, so first off, um, what is, let's do f of 4. So the function, when you plug 4 in, looks like the value is 1. Okay, so the, the graph exists there. Well, let's try this one. Let's do the limit as x goes to 4 from below of our function. Well, look, as you go towards 4 from below, where does it look? Where does it look like the graph is going? So even though f of 4 is equal to 1, the limit, as you get closer and closer and closer to 4, it still looks like the graph is going towards 7. So let's look at the limit as x goes to 4 from above. All right, well, as you go to x goes to 4 from above, where does it look like the graph is going? The limit tells us it looks like it's going towards negative 3. So look, the one-sided limits as you approach 4 aren't, aren't the same. 
So therefore the limit as x goes to four of our function does not exist. Okay, so I, th I thought this was an interesting one, right? So like the, the function is defined when f is equal to four, but the limit as x goes to four of this function does not exist. So it's, it's, just, it's quite an interesting problem. And that's why, you know, you have to look at the graph and just see the limit, it says, where does it look like it's going, okay? All right, I hope these uh, three additional examples uh, really helped.